like a, a shampoo hoarder. I am not kidding when I say I've tried hundreds of hair products over the years. Every woman has a hair care graveyard. I have six bottles of shampoo in my shower. We have at least like 15 bottles yeah. in our showers. Then there's always the, the uh, oh, you know, you just have to try new, you should change shampoos every three months. And I just think that's BS. The hair product market is flooded with new products every single day. There were more than 10,000 new hair products just launched last year. It comes about who has the fancier bottle, who has the prettier this, the most fancy that. Products can be really confusing. You use a product, it's gorgeous, it's fabulous, your hair's fuller, it's shinier, it's everything, and then after about three weeks, it just starts to kind of like poop out on itself. Almost everybody used just the same solution. Everybody used actually pretty much the same ingredient. It's filled with oils and silicones. The buildup just eventually starts to deplete, like just basically exhaust your hair. Silicone doesn't cover the hair as well or keep the moisture out as well. Everything would claim that it would bring the health back to it, bring the life back to it, and it's just never, never have quite found that. So we didn't use what people used before. We used some of the most modern technologies that we've pioneered at MIT. Living Proof is all about a scientific approach. They were determined to figure out a way to give you a product that was going to live up to its name and do what it says. We came up with a different polymer. What it does that was fundamentally different is it, it really coats the outside of the hair and keeps water from getting in. And, and it does it in a way that really is weightless and, and doesn't act like these oils that can cause your hair to get sticky and also cause the accumulation of dirt. We pre-treated tresses with our OFPMA and uh, leading silicone and what we can do then is bathe them in cornstarch which simulates particles that might be in the air for instance in LA or New York and then you can shake them off and see what remains behind. It's like LA. Yeah. <laughs> see how that smog? And what you see oh. is that Still, after a good shake. the OFPMA side has, has not allowed any of it to stay on hair. So it's so just it, the it sticky, there. there's a sticky quality, there's something that's like yes. making it... And so that really residue dirty. acts as a, a, an attractant for particulates and it, you can feel it build up. And so there's a dramatically visual difference. That's amazing. There's nothing more interesting when you actually hear how something is broken down. Like into, I mean, it's like watching the Science Channel, I, which I'm obsessed with. I love the Science Channel. And now, literally, with the living proof, I remember I showed up and, and it was done. Basically, her hair was done. All I did was twist a couple of pieces, dry, make sure it was dry, and I was amazed how well it fought the humidity. Hey, I'm not a scientist. I'm just, you know, an actor, and I know what my hair has been through. Feels thicker than it's ever felt. Feels better than it's ever felt. I've had a good hair day every day. I'm sold.